Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back uh, with another video. In this video, I'm going to perform uh, transient structure analysis of dry pulley, or you can say pulley dry, right? So I made this video um, before and I performed the same analysis. I also uploaded that particular video in another YouTube channel of mine. After watching that video, I have uh, received, you know, so many comments in comment section, also email. And they have mentioned that after following the same procedure or same steps, what I have followed, I have shown in that video, they are not able to get the exact results or what I have got, right? So today again, I am going to perform that uh, same analysis and we will try to find out, you know, why we are not able to get uh, the results, exact results, what is the problem and we will try to diagnose and we will try to rectify that, okay. So here is, I am with the workbench platform, this is the workbench platform. So I will take the that assembly, dry pull assembly and just drag and drop on the workbench, okay. Now I'm going to link the transient structural module. Here's a transient structural module. Okay. Now double click on the module. It will take us to the mechanical window. Okay. We'll wait for the few seconds. It will take a bit time to open. we are in a mechanical window as you can see so i'll just give you a brief about this assembly so this is the this is the driver pulley and this is the belt and this is the driven pulley okay so motor will be connected to this pulley this particular pulley and it will be rotated and through this belt the power will be transmitted to this uh, you know uh, for the transfer to this uh, driven pulley and it will be rotating right so we'll start with the loading and boundary condition uh, first what we'll do I'll, I'll start with the messing so let's uh, go with the default messing let's see how it is created okay uh, so i'll go with the method let's say all the bodies select all the bodies and i'll change it to multi zone generate mesh Yeah, I think there is an issue with the messing. I will just exclude from this. Okay, what first I will I'll give you the sizing. Select all. I will give the size. Refine the mesh. Size. Select size. I will go with the 5 mm element size. Let us create the mesh again. Again, there is an issue with the messing. Okay, I'll just exclude from the multi zone method. Mm, I'll just exclude those, and I'll go with another method to get the hexadecimal mesh method. Then select hex dominant. Okay, get generate the mesh again. Okay, I think we, yeah, mesh is generated properly with the hexadecimal mesh, right? Now I'll move to the next step. I'll define the contacts. So let's see. Okay, contacts are defined. I'll just change this uh, by uh, default border contact to uh, frictional contact. I'll put 0 0.2 uh, frictional coefficient. Okay, I think contacts are defined properly. Mesh is done. <coughs> what else? So we'll uh, define the joints first. I'll give joints here uh, to the driver pulley. Go to this body to ground. I'll define the joints to the body to ground to give it a joint. Since it will be rotated, I'll define. Then okay, it's a, it's the, the transparency. I will just disable this transparency. So go to the connections. As you, here you can see the tab transparency enabled. Yes, but you have to turn it to no. Then there will be no transparency. Oh, you see no transparency. Uh, next, I'll define joint here. Regular joint. Okay fine 
I think you need to select all the faces. Just plus sign. Okay. Next. Select the plus sign. Select it. Okay. Fine. Uh, now I'll define the boundary conditions. So here, like in this driven pulley, I'll give the boundary condition remote displacement. So even in the remote in the remote displacement, all the five degrees of degrees of freedom will be fixed. Only rotation about j, the axis will be free. Okay. So zero, 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 and rotation about j is free. Right. Now we'll go to the analysis setting. Here I'll set up the analysis settings. So I'll go with the fifty steps. Okay. I'll change this time to sub steps. Now let's go to the tabular data. And here, right click and select all steps. And here, I'm going to put one, 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 sub step one, 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 and one. Right? I'll tick mark is there. Okay, I think everything is done. Only we have to apply the load. So, I'll go with the joint load in the driver pulley. Okay, driver pulley. Just select, drag, and drop to the transient. Click on the joint load. Here on the dialog box, change it to the rotational velocity. In the magnitude magnitude section, I will go with the tabular data, right? So click on the tabular data here, zero point zero zero one. Go with zero point zero five. Okay. I think everything is done. All the loading and boundary conditions are properly set up. I will just solve this problem. So right click on the solution. And hit the solve button. Okay, so it will take uh, some time to solve. Here you can see in the tablet, one percent is done. So solving is started. We'll wait for a few minutes. Okay, let it solve. So guys, eighty-nine percent is completed. A ninety percent is completed now. Actually, the main purpose of making this video uh, just to identify like what kind of issues, you know, we can get, and how to rectify. I won't say issues, uh, like issues with the results, right? Why we are not getting, you know, actual results, exact results, or what, like what we are expecting. That we'll try to diagnose and we'll try to solve. First, first, let's see the outcome. Ninety-five percent is completed. Uh, it will complete soon. It won't take much uh, more time now. Ninety-seven percent is completed. It will take few more seconds. Yeah, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. I'll share the uh, link of my previous video as well in my another YouTube channel. You can also watch that video. I follow follow the same process. Here I, I have solved. Okay, uh, solution completed. Here I have solved for 50 seconds uh, just to see the results. So I'll the, go with the deform, total deformation. Okay. Now right click on the total one and evaluate the results. Let's see what happened. Okay. I'll just so here we go. Uh, there's only uh, the deflection only belong to the driver pulley, right? There's no uh, deflection in the belt or driven pulley. So what is happening? We'll just, I'll just uh, see the animation. Give four seconds. Just change the frame to forty. Just see the animation. As you can see, guys, only driver pulley is rotating. One thing we can observe that you know there is no uh, sufficient friction between uh, driver pulley and belt, and that's why kind of slipping is occurring there, happening there. Okay. Okay. 
since belt is not rotating so driven pulley will not rotate obviously so we'll try to see uh, okay what's the problem there i'll try to diagnose first i'll exit from here i'll go to the uh, workbench platform let me exit from here okay <clears throat> so i'll call that geometry again i'll call that geometry again. same geometry i'm taking fully okay and i'll edit i'll go to the uh, space claim edit geometry in space claim i'll let the space claim open uh, there we'll try to see you know if there's a problem with the geometry then we'll check uh, in a mechanical window right first let me see is there any issue with the geometry or assembly so space claim is open yes so guys after making few changes we have the results here uh, as you can see uh, i think we got the proper results exact results what we are expecting so i'll just play the animation it should rotate all the uh, both the pulleys yes as you can see both the pulleys are rotating properly there is no issue with the results right now in this video uh, i haven't revealed what are the changes i have made okay i want you guys to identify you know so i'll just tell you i'll just inform you that i have made two changes one in the geometry level one in the mechanical window right so you have to uh, give it a try uh, whether you are able to get it and if you are not able to get it don't worry i am going to upload the second part of this video where i will reveal what are the changes uh, i have made okay and after following that video that is steps you will be able to get the results okay so thank you very much and all the best